we have reached the second half of Team Quadrilla Marble League Season 3 with a classic event, the Obstacle Race. This event featured in both of the past two seasons, won by Lilypad of the Green Lotus and Muddy of the Slime Balls. A lot of the marble is very familiar with this Gravitrax course as it's been used in both the Obstacle Races and other Gravitrax events. So you see, after the first half, Red Lotus have a 17 point lead over the Valley Dashers, then it's the Efficient Eggs, Green Lotus, Majestic Melons running out the top half, top five, and the Celestials, Good Surge, with three medals on the bounce, up into six. Now, Red Lotus, Slime Balls, Poison Ivy, and Team Atlantic. Team Atlantic, the home fans, hoping for a good result here. Decent in this event is Narwhal, but they have a past gold medalist with money to deal with in their heat. Of course, top two move on to the semi-finals. It is Slime Balls, Team Atlantic out in front now. Poison Ivy get the lead briefly, but then everyone passes the Poison Ivy and they finish in last. Look at this. Slime Balls out in front. There was Team Atlantic. They had the lead briefly. And Poison Ivy take it, but then everyone passes them. And so it will be the Slime Balls and the Red Lotus moving on. Muddy, very experienced in this event. By the way, Red Lotus, 100% podium record in this season in individual events. All of those events, by the way, Different members, Celestial, the fifth member, going in here, and they are moving on. Now, Valley Dashers, Bobble Squad, Yellow Lotus, and the Hazelnuts. Hazelnuts. Hazel participating. Former captain, demoted after the last event, but they are out in the lead. Valley Dashers contending up with them, and those two are going to be moving on. Bobble Squad, the Yellow Lotus, have nothing to show for it. Hazelnuts, out in front here. Look like that change might have helped them. Here's a very good move from Ravina of the Valley Dashers. Just got by the Hazelnuts at the end, but regardless, two hundredths of a second separating them. Both of them are going to be moving on. Yellow Lotus and Bobble Squad not. Bobble Squad that is disappointing for a team. Bronze medalists last season. Now, Efficient Eggs, Celestials, Deep Divers, and Shadow Riders. Deep Divers and Shadow Riders, two teams that are very good historically, but neither have gotten a single podium in the season. Celestials, good move there, and Efficient Eggs take the lead, Efficient Eggs running away with it, and the Shadow Riders get by the Celestials for second place. What happened to the Celestials? I think, look at this, the Efficient Eggs get a bump from the Shadow Riders, and Celestials get a bump from the Deep Divers, but much better line from Contour of the Shadow Riders, and a bump against the Celestials from the Deep Divers after that, just slowed them down. So the Efficient Eggs and the Shadow Riders going to be moving on. Now on the final heat, Green Lotus, Majestic Melons, Icicles, and the Aquamarines. Lilypad won this event in Season 1. Different format back then, but still very similar event. Icicles and Aquamarines also. Those two teams haven't got a podium in the season either. And there's the Green Lotus out in front. Majestic Melons have gotten stuck. Oh, and both of them getting by the Green Lotus. Aquamarines dealing with them, and the Green Lotus are knocked out. But does the Green Lotus have the lead? Here's what the Icicles get by. Aquamarines also get by, but they're still very close with the Green Lotus. But the Green Lotus just cannot come back against the Aquamarines. And speaking of not coming back, the Majestic Melons. This is a second event in a row where they're having a very poor event. The Captain Honeydew, past gold medalist in this season in the Quadrilla Race, last in the Obstacle Race. Green Lotus, meanwhile, they get the best of the rest. Team Atlantic, home fans will be decently happy with the 10th based on how their season has gone so far. Now, Slime Balls, Hazelnuts, Efficient Eggs, and the Aquamarines in the first semi-final. Top two go to the final. Muddy, Hazel, Hardboil, and Opal. Let's see how these marbles do. There's Aquamarines and the Slime Balls. Now, the Hazelnuts get it. And that's the Efficient Eggs also up there with them. Efficient Eggs gave the Slime Balls a scare, but the Slime Balls fell them off very well. And the Slime Balls and the Aquamarines and going to the final. Look at this. Efficient eggs right on the back of the slime balls, but Muddy defended with all their might, and Opal and Muddy are going to be moving on to the final, but just less than a second separating, almost half a second separating first and last. Very close semi-final there. Now Red Lotus, Valley Dashers, Shadow Riders, and the Icicles. Two teams that haven't podiumed this season. Other two teams, top two in the championship. We'll see who advances to the final here. Red Lotus and Valley Dashers, good getaway. Valley Dashers, though, fall to last. Red Lotus should go away this bump for the Icicles and Valley Dashers. And it's very close with the back three, but the Valley Dashers somehow hold on ahead of the Shadow Riders and the Icicles. Red Lotus well out in front, but then a slew of marbles coming on the back of them. It's Red Lotus managed to get by just in the nick of time. And the Valley Dashers, great defense there against Contour and Stalactite. 
and the Valley Dashers with Ravine are also trying to hold pace with the Red Lotus. Hazelnuts get 5th place with Fish and Eggs 6th, 2nd in a row, Shadow Riders 7th, and the Icicles 8th. So 2nd in a row, 8th for the Icicles there. Now Aquamarines, Valley Dashers, Slime Balls, and the Red Lotus. Who takes gold in the obstacle race in event 9 of the season? Is the Valley Dashers with a glee? That's Aquamarines. Valley Dashers out in front. They hold them off very well. And the Valley Dashers win gold in the obstacle race. They're second of the season. Red Lotus, they keep the record getting by the Aquamarines. They couldn't get by the Slime Balls though. As Muddy does get second place. Red Lotus gets the bronze. It's the championship leaders. They will be happy with that. Not losing too much ground against the Valley Dashers and the Aquamarines just missed out on the medal. Is the only team in the final to not have podium before this. They continue that dry spell. But the Valley Dashers, their second gold, makes up 10 points only against the Red Lotus. But that is still going to put them in contention for the championship. Slime Balls back on the podium with Muddy after a terrible individual Cordula Marble League. Muddy, redemption for them. And Celestial from the Red Lotus keeping them on top. In the team Quadrilla Marble League, five on five individual podiums in this season. That is just amazing for the Red Lotus. But the Valley Dashers, before this season, no goals in the team Quadrilla Marble League. They come out of event nine with two and just seven points behind the Red Lotus. Efficient eggs in third, Green Lotus in fourth, Slime Balls jumping up to fifth as the defending champions. Celestials in sixth, Majestic Melons dropped to seventh. Just a Poison Ivy making an appearance in the top half. We're here with a two-way battle right now for the championship between the Red Lotus and the Valley Dashers. So the event after this will be the Quadrilla Descent. And after that, the same event for the B Division. Mm -hmm.